This week on African Sportsman's Channel, Stefan and Theo travel to Namibia, where they find themselves close to the small town of Kalkarant, about two hours south of the capital city, Vintuk. Their hunting destination, Hudia Hunting Ranch. Hi, Derek. Hi, Hi Stefan. Derek, pleased to meet you. Pleased Welcome to, to Udia. And uh, you know, let's step inside. It's a little bit cooler there. And we go through the, the proceedings for the rest of the next couple of days. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Gents, on the indemnity form, um, the, first, the first point is you need to be aware that we're driving on open, open vehicles. So you need to keep your eyes open for branches. Um, possibly we drive into a hole or over rocks and things. We are driving on uneven surfaces so that you're aware of that. Then when we are stalking wild animals that you're aware that there could be snakes and scorpions. Um, we are on a 12,000 hectare game farm so there's a lot of game and animals walking around. Um, then the third point which should be right on top is the firearms and the safety thereof. Um, you'll be using my firearms so it's you will be firearms that you're not used to, so that we need to make sure that you, once we're on the shooting range, you are really familiar with the safety of the gun. The setup I'll be using um, is a Steyr Mannlicher Luxus rifle. Uh, it's fitted with a Schmidt & Wender fixed power uh, telescope. It's a 10 magnification, the 42 mm objective lens. Um, ideal for the distances, we'll be, we'll be hunting here, it's about 200 to 250 meters. So we're shooting 180 grain cellular and bellet um, factory ammo, uh, 180 grain perfect for, for the larger frame animals which we will be targeting here. So we're going to try and uh, be about two, two and a half inches higher at 100 which will, which will ensure that we hit the spot at 200, 250 each time. So let's give it a go. First shot was a bit high, came down uh, about three inches and then we moved to the right two inches so from the center we're just over two inches high, spot on for, for 200 to 250 meter shooting. Gents, uh, I'd like to introduce you to our PH and guide. So our guide will be Stefanus for the next few days and Dirk is our PH for the next few days. What makes video special is we are uh, open farm, we don't have any internal fences, it's 12,000 hectares of, of open hunting ground. We do game management, so we, we're looking after our game and uh, I think uh, everybody's welcome. We try and create a family atmosphere, we don't try not to encourage very big groups because it just makes it more difficult to manage. Our smaller groups we try and when the people leave, they normally leave as friends and not as a client. It's four o'clock in the afternoon. What's the plan of action for the rest of the afternoon? Yes, Stefan. Um, this afternoon we're going to go and have a look and see if we can't uh, shoot a black wildebeest, blue wildebeest, uh, possibly a bears or maybe an oryx. So the temperatures now let up a little bit, and we on 34 degrees. So the ideal, ideal afternoon. The winds let up. So I think we're out for a good afternoon of hunting.
about 600 meters from here. We must use this little ravine here as cover to get close to them. 200 or less rains. And yeah, see what's happened. The wind is in our favor. Let's see what happens. As the hunters start with their stalk, Stefan uses his mobile phone to open a new app that he downloaded called Huntopedia. This new app is the ultimate mobile hunting application with features such as field GPS tracking, shot placement for 64 hunting species, spoor identification and recommended calibers. Your monthly subscription will provide you with weekly hunting and shooting updates in article and video formats. And if you need information on African hunting destinations and outfitters, then this app will be able to assist you. Five. I can see five. Dirk and Stefan spot a small herd of black wildebeest and decide to proceed with caution, keeping the wind in their favor. With the animal staying just out of shooting range and daylight fading fast, the hunters need to move along a little quicker. The wind turns and the herd picks up the scent of the hunters, sending the black wildebeest off and out of reach. Hey guys, we're going to call it a day. Uh, the two hour, 20 minute stalk. It was a very nice hunt, but uh, they kept evading us. Uh, we're in this open field. You can see at the back here, it's quite open. It made, made stalking very difficult this last hour. Um, they kept just out of range. Um, and. Uh, the wind was also a problem. The wind was, was, was in our favor, but, but with the wind blowing like this, the animals are, are weary all the time. So with the amount of sunlight left, we're going to call it a day and uh, we'll proceed tomorrow again. Hopefully we'll get one of these nice black willabias bulls here on Hudia, Hudia Game Watch. <laughs> It's early morning, and the hunters set off again, looking for black wildebeest. What if we had a nice uh, walk and stalk this afternoon, and unfortunately didn't get the uh, uh, black wildebeest? It's early morning, and we're going to hopefully uh, get them by surprise this morning. And uh, it's nice and cool, there's no wind which is a little bit in our disadvantage because, uh, you know, we there's no smells and stuff are going to put uh, in the noise, but we're going to try and see what we can get, get right this morning. Okay. After a two hour stalk, the hunters finally come within shooting range. And this time the hunt is on.
We we stalked this herd of black wildebeest for about two hours this morning. Um, they kept evading us. We got a shot in at 200 meters. We were looking for, for a nice bull. And while spotting or glancing through the herd, we saw this animal with a broken off horn. Um, and we decided to, to take that animal instead of a, of a, of a bull. Um, the shot turned out quite nicely. Uh, the animal went straight down. And when we, when we got to the animal, um, we, we saw that, that, that the broken off horn was, was quite infected. So it was, uh, it was the right decision not to, not to shoot a trophy bull, but to take out this animal with, with the one horn. All right, the meat we, we normally sell to our butchers. Uh, the meat is also utilized by us on the farm. We support a local orphanage here, so the, the meat is used, uh, um, is, is good edible meat. And uh, this particular animal is, was, a, was a good shot because it, 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 something that, the ma that we would have done on a management hunt anyway, um, since the, the horn of this animal has been broken off and there's been a lot of flies and maggots. So this particular hunt, uh, disappointing for the hunter in the sense that he didn't bag a big trophy, but we've got to uh, um, put this animal out of, its, out of her misery. So it's, it was a good hunt.